Good morning. My name is Alan, and I am the Mind Alchemist. Today, I wanted to do a tapping session on getting started in the morning. Some people, they need their first cigarette. Some people need a cup of coffee. But until they have that external thing, they just don't feel good. They just can't get into gear. So if that's your case, I'm going to just tap on coffee since I don't smoke. But if there is something that you do, if there's a ritual to get yourself started, just replace the word coffee with whatever it is, whether it's tea or cigarettes or anything else and just go from there. Um, I assume that you already know how to tap and if you don't just do what I do, say what I say and you should get pretty good results. So here we go. Start tapping on the karate chop point saying even though it's Monday morning, I've got the Monday morning blues, I can't open my eyes until I have that coffee. But I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though it's already been my fifth cup of coffee today, this morning, it's not even nine o'clock. I just can't get into the groove. I just can't get into gear. I'm in slow motion, but I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I can't change, that'd be crazy to let go of the coffee. I need it. I need it every day. Because I know how I am in the morning. And because I know how I am, it means that I'll always be this way, or maybe not. But I fully and completely love and accept myself just the way I am. Now tap on the eyebrow and say, I love my coffee. One is never really enough. I need this get started. I really, really, really want to get started, but I can't. I'm tired. I stayed up half the night worried about things, and sometimes I sleep right through the night, right through the night, but I still need coffee because I'm, that's the way I'm wired. I've been like this for so long, I don't think I'm going to change. I need my coffee. I want my coffee. I'll always need my coffee. It would take a miracle or something even better than coffee to get started in the morning. What if I could start the morning without coffee? I can't even, I can't even think about that. That's crazy. Maybe I just like to complain because nothing will change for me. I need this. I want this. I'm addicted to it. Yeah, that's right. I'm addicted. That's the best word I could find. I'm addicted to coffee. If I don't have my coffee, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go insane. I'm going to have to like shoot someone because I need my coffee. People, you better stay away from me because without my coffee, I'm not a nice person. I'm just like really miserable. I'm going to be grouchy, grumpy. I'm going to have headaches right through the day. I tried stopping once before. It just didn't work because I want my coffee. I need my fix right now. I need another fix. Maybe if I have enough fixes, I'll be able to get through the day. But right now, I just need my fix of coffee. Can't remember the first cup, or maybe I can. I liked it. But I, now I'm just addicted. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna, maybe I'll drink a little coffee, maybe not. But I can let it go. I don't need coffee. I want coffee. I really don't need it. Maybe I feel incomplete without it become part of who I am. It's a habit. It's part of my identity. Walking around with a cup of coffee all day, looking for my mug. It's become a routine. But I can let it go. I can let go of the guilt of drinking so much. 
of getting let go of the shame of needing it every day for the last so many years. I'm letting go the fear that I just won't be able to function. Because I am scared that I can't function without my fix, without my coffee. And I like that certain brand. It's not just any coffee. I need that coffee. I know which coffee it is. The one that makes me feel good. The one that makes me feel happy. The one that is good for me. Right for me. Today's coffee. The best coffee in the world. But I'm letting go of all those negative emotions associated with drinking coffee. I could drink it easily, effortlessly, joyfully. Maybe yes, maybe no. But I'm letting go of that fixation, and maybe one day I'll totally let it go. Because I love and accept myself. I worship myself. I approve of myself. And I want the best for myself. So I'm going to just love who I am, just the way I am. If I have a coffee, I won't punish myself. I won't label myself as being bad, dependent, alcoholic, addicted, whatever it is. I just love myself for who I am. I'm okay, with or without. And I know that all the answers, all I need is coming from within. But sometimes I need just a little help. And I'm not going to beat up on myself for drinking coffee or having that cigarette. I can stop any time when I'm ready. But for right now, I'm just going to let go of all the guilt, the shame, the fears, and any other negative emotion that I may have around drinking coffee. So I hope this helped. I hope it helps you to get started in the day without having an external fix. But if you need to do it again, I've been drinking coffee for so many years that I wouldn't know how to not drink it. It might take a little while, it might take many rounds of tapping before I get rid of that habit. And maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I'll be okay with whatever I, do, I choose. Uh, my name is Alan Ma. So I am the Mind Alchemist and I help people through different situations, especially anxiety producing situations using EFT and also with hypnosis. Uh, if you need help in any way, shape, or form, you know where I am. Once again, uh, mindalchemist.ca and I am the Mind Alchemist. Thank you.